Yeah, <laughs> boy. So, guys, welcome back to Road to King's Cow. Today, we'll still be looking at some of the Ikatan from Lenchana Kaalian. So, today, we'll be doing two Ikatan. Number one is Simple Mano, or known as Clawfish, and the second one will be Tinekase, or known as Bowline. So, let's get right into it. Well, since it's a tutorial video, let's go to my desk and I'll be showing you guys how this ikatan looks like and just a sneak peek on how to do it. I'll be releasing separate videos, step-by-step -step guides for you guys to learn. This video is just for you guys to understand the meaning, how it looks like and how are you going to apply it. Okay, that's all. So guys, so we are back here to my desk. Hello! So guys, this is the first ikatan which I was talking about just now which is Simple Mano or Glowfitch. Let's get straight into it. So this ikatan, I'll be showing you guys how to do it but it will be on my finger and then we'll look at another way, okay? So first, you guys have to make an X around your finger. One and two. See an X. After that, take the end of this string right here, okay? For me, okay, is this. And then just go into the X in this manner, okay? Just go into like this. Into the X, okay? And then just pull it until the end. Just pull it all the way, okay? There you have it. That's it, simple, okay? That's how you do it. Now let's look at the other way. So guys, the other way to do this ikatan is actually the easier way. For example, if you're tying a gadget, let's say this is my gadget right, <laughs> right now. How am I going to tie the ikatan on this gadget, okay? So, I'm not going to like pull the string all the way around and like an X like that. No, it's an easier way to do it. So, let's learn how to do it first, okay? First, take this, take a string, okay? And then put it in this manner, okay? The left hand side of the string turn away from you and the right hand side of the string turn towards you, okay? And then take the right hand side loop and put it on the left hand side loop. And then you have this hole right here. This hole is where the gadget or the stick goes into. So the moment you put this gadget into here or whatever you're using, the moment you pull it like this, you're going to see the same ikatan that we tied just now on our finger. So guys, you have watched how this ikatan looks like and how to do it in two different ways previously. Now, let's look at the functions. Number one is, this ikatan is used to actually start and end different ikatans that you guys will learn in the future. Don't worry, I'll explain to you guys later on. Okay. So, the second function is to tie a string okay, to a pole okay. Just now I showed you guys a grey colour tube Let's just ex imagine that grey colour tube is a pole Okay <laughs> Okay, guys, so as you can see in this picture This is some of the examples where I did this ikatan When I was building gadgets in camping So guys, now for the second ikatan, we'll be looking at tindekase or bowline. So there are actually two ways to do it. Let me show you. The first way is put a string in this way. Okay, let the let the end of the string just be anywhere you want. Okay, so turn the bottom of the string up this way. Okay, okay, and then take the end from this string. Okay, which is right here. Enter from the bottom. Okay. Go around this string this way, okay. Come back over, okay. Come back over and go back where you came from just now. And then pull everything together. The moment you pull everything together, you're gonna get something like this. This is correct because there's a loop and then there's another loop covering it. If you look from behind, it'll look like a loop going around 
and one line like this so how to test it whether it's correct so this is where this is how you test it so the moment you pull it it must not move in any manner okay i might have tightened it but the moment i pull it it might not move okay then it's correct if it moves or it's not as the same pattern as i show you all well then it's wrong so now let's look at the other way so guys this is the other way to do it so first you need to put you need to put this string around your waist okay and then for me i need to sit very near to the camera so that will anyways let's get straight into it so this technique is a bit confusing so stay with me okay so the string on the right hand must be shorter than the string on the left hand so the first thing you do is take the string on the right hand go inside in this manner and come out from behind like this what okay and then this string goes around this and comes back through this loop over here so and then later on you have to pull the string behind and pull this string in this way so let me just show you okay the moment i put this inside this loop i'm going to pull this string here and i'm going to pull this string behind so if i do in that way and adjust it there you have it the same pattern which i did just now a loop and a line and if you turn it around same thing a loop and a line in this way so this is the practical way to do it okay so that's how you do it now let's look at the functions of this ikatan so guys now let's look at the second ikatan which is indikasi or known as bowline so this ikatan is actually used to make a loop which can't move okay like the end of the loop doesn't move like i just showed you just now in the video okay so the purpose of this not moving loop is actually to help okay save people if they fall into deep waters and they can't swim and all that so this ikatan is basically for saving people so guys today's video is very simple today's video is just for you guys to understand how this ikatan works and to remember small things about ikatan so that when you guys go to the actual test okay where they test you how to tie this ikatan you guys can do it quickly and answer them if they ask any questions on this ikatan after watching this video that's all from me 